Hello guys, how's it going? So the last couple of months I've been dedicating most of my free time to painting and improving my art skills. So today I'm going to take you through the entire process of how I create an art piece. I usually start by making the digital sketch. Um, I love drawing perspectives, so I always include some kind of perspective element in my art. I want to put these little guys um, on a disco floor. By the way, this is my favorite cartoon growing up. And um, I also want to put like a big glowing disco ball here. And I love doing digital sketches because here I don't have to worry about making mistakes. I get just to experiment with placement, colors, and composition until I like it. Having a digital sketch first helps me have a lot of control over the final product as I can make the template and have it look exactly how I want it on the end on the canvas. Now for a quick word from today's sponsor. I set out to create the most functional workspace to optimize my productivity without compromising the aesthetics. I'm setting up the new ergonomic MSI MD272 monitor. I love being able to adjust the tilt and height depending on the window glare. The MSI Productivity Intelligence Software's KVM function makes it easy for me to switch between working on my laptop and Pro DP21 desktop without needing to unplug the mouse and keyboard every time I want to use the monitor with my laptop. Even though I make most of my art with paints and pencils, I end up spending long hours staring at the screen, making templates and drawing. This monitor is built with way less blue light and anti-flicker technology, which helps a lot with the eye strain. I can effortlessly increase my efficiency and enjoy a smart life with the exclusive MSI Productivity Intelligence app, which provides the smartest tools with the most efficient functions. I can prioritize my apps, tasks, and optimize settings all within one app. For more information, check out the link below, and now back to the video. Today I am working on a skateboard. This is the first time I'm ever customizing a skate deck. I feel like this would look lovely above my desk. So to start with, um, I have to apply the base. Sometimes I gesso the wood canvas. Here I'm just going to apply a coat of spray paint. And this works great because I'm going to be using acrylics today for the first time actually. I've learned how to paint on oils only. So LA heat wave has been real this week. My cats have just been acting goofy and me as well. And tonight is the first night that we got a little rain, which was amazing. Um, it wasn't the best to take this outside spray painting in the rain, but hey, it's gonna look like a galaxy. It's gonna work. Oh, and by the way, um, I love making these templates because it just helps me block out the shapes and I don't have to make a bunch of mistakes. Over the weekend, I decided to paint outside. My boyfriend has a lovely backyard and a canyon with lots of beautiful trees. So having to set up my paints outside was just such a lovely experience. There's nothing like painting in nature. It was my actually my first time painting outside. Um, I know that this might sound crazy, but us city folk don't have a lot of access to the outdoors these days. Here I'm transferring the image onto the skate deck. Um, I kind of outlined exactly how I drew it on my computer and then I did like a graphite under painting so it transferred onto my skate deck. And also I decided to put um, like a vinyl stencil to help me with the floor because I didn't want to mess it up. And this actually ended up screwing me over pretty badly because I did not know that acrylic paints dry all in one piece. So I went when I went to peel this, everything started to peel off. So I had to actually cut out with an X-Acto knife every single one of those squares, so that was fun. Um, now I am just applying the details, the colors. This is where the painting is starting to look a little bit more decent. I was starting to get discouraged out there. Um, but I gotta say, um, I actually really enjoyed painting with acrylics. Uh, I was kind of scared of them because I felt like I wouldn't have as much control. But I love how they're gliding, and I kind of love that I can't just go back over a million times. I just have to like do very precise strokes. Here I'm spending a little bit of extra time adding some shading and highlights to the areas that I want. Um, this is like a cartoon drawing, so it doesn't have to be very hyper-realistic or anything. And I'm just kind of making up like an imaginary light source and adding some, you know, some three-dimensional elements to it. I've always had a hard time, and I'm sure any artist can relate to this, um, trying to pick what you actually want to draw amongst the millions of opportunities of all the things that you can draw. So I decided to just stick to cartoons for now and add my perspectives in it and just kind of not spend too much time on thinking, you know? 
For the disco ball, I'm gonna go back to my trusty Cricut. Um, I love adding elements of vinyl sometimes, and this is gonna look great, especially since I'm working with acrylics. I might later go back in and add some shading to the ball, but I'm gonna leave it as is right now because I could spend hours and hours more just focusing on one little detail. Um, here I'm just adding a little bit of glow around the ball, and now I'm gonna do some line work. Um, I'm always scared of the line work, especially with a brush, because after all that beautiful work, it is so easy to mess it up with the lines. Um, using an acrylic marker is a lifesaver, as I can um, have a lot more control, and if I do mess up I can paint over it but thank goodness it ended up working well for me I even took the liberty to freehand a little bit so I don't know call me crazy just gonna add some finishing touches and we are ready for the reveal I'm pretty happy the way this turned out I might go back in later this week and resin it just to make it all nice and glossy but that's about it I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you very soon bye bye